All right, this is day two of being home with Leah, my newborn baby, for some mommy. I really suck at vlogging, you guys. It be so much stuff going on, and I don't never think about pulling out my camera to vlog it. My husband could have took the camera with him. He's actually at, he went to go get a haircut because um he needed that beard to get trimmed. But also he went to Walmart because we needed a few things for the baby. Um, I had him to go get her. Um, some more onesies, some new newborn size onesies because like all newborn, all first time moms, all moms, we think that the baby's going to come out big and they're not going to be able to fit the newborn sizes. Well, Leah was a little baby and like I said, she lost some weight. Um, and so she can fit the newborn size onesies perfectly. And so I sent him to Walmart to go get her some newborn size onesies. I sent him also to get her a laundry basket. And um, what else did we get her? Some more formula. I like the ready to use formula. And we had two uh, $5 checks from Infamil. And the ready to use Infamil come in a box of six and they're only five ninety eight at Walmart and the cute and the checks are five dollars so that's a dollar a box that we pay, we we end up paying for so here's Leah she sleeps so I sent him there to get that and he's getting some stuff for dinner tonight. My sister's gonna be coming over probably here shortly or later on to bring me dinner. She wanted to fix me a dinner. She wanted to cook for us all weekend so um matter of fact let me tell my husband that let me let me let me make sure because he's supposed to be cooking rotel and if my sister's bringing food over let me text Shamia and see hold up i'll be i'll, I'll be right back y'all and then i could have got recorded you guys i had my oldest daughter watching uh leah while i you know got up to brush my teeth and fix me some water and all that so i could have just this is a lot of stuff i could have recorded last night I just so much stuff, interesting stuff I could have recorded. So I'm going to try to keep this camera by me and make sure I um can get a lot of stuff on camera for you guys, on vlog for you guys. Uh, my husband's from his haircut. Well, he got his uh, head shaved. You guys know he's bald. And he went and got his beard trimmed up. Today is my oldest son's, well, he's my only son, my oldest birthday. He turns 19 today. Um, my husband's supposed to be cooking some rotel and some chicken wings. And then my sister, Shamil, uh, Shamil, she's supposed to be bringing dinner. So, she's bringing dinner. I'm going to tell him, do you really want to cook rotel? Well, I'll eat both. I'll eat her dinner and I'll eat that rotel and hot wings, okay? So, yeah. My mom came over yesterday to see Leah and with my niece, um, uh, one of my nieces. And, um, I could have recorded that for you guys. My best friend is supposed to be coming over today. And so, um, Leah's godmother, Michelle, is supposed to be coming over today as well. It's just been a really, not really eventful, but kind of eventful um, days home. I love my baby so much, you guys. I just be looking at her like, thank you, Jesus. So, I'm about to actually pump some more milk for her. I really like for her to, to uh, breastfeed but it's not always easy to get her to um, wake up so uh, I want to keep my milk supply coming in so I'm going to go ahead and breastfeed what makes me um, nervous is I feel like are we feeding her enough if she's gaining weight I don't know we just got to see her next appointments in two weeks and I hope she's back at her birth weight at least um, I do not want to hear those words failure to thrive like I'm so scared to hear those um I swear, you get pregnant and worrying, it don't never stop. It never stops. But yeah, I'm just at home. Like I said, it's a very eventful day. But I'm gonna keep this camcorder near me so um, we can uh, I can record. And I want to get that um, closet organized for Leah. I need to clean my bathroom up today. It's a lot of stuff I need to do. So a lot of stuff I need to do. So I'll be back. Hopefully I'll have some stuff to vlog about. Hi. So daddy's home. He went and got everything. Look at her little laundry basket he went and got she for her. She can fit in that. <laughs> and you know, since I'm fancy, I had to give me some. Oh, uh, Nivea. Uh, does that deodorant? 
No, it's bomb for your... So I'm about to eat this little lunch that he got me from Quick Trip. It's not the healthiest, but I needed to eat something. I'm going to eat that, and I'm eat that, drink this water, and then wake her up to feed her that. Baby! Where the formula at? Okay, and then I'll show you guys what he got from um, Walmart here in a minute. Okay, bye. There you go. Leah, her TT. Oh. Say hi, Morgan. Go <laughs> away. To the camera. Morgan, do not like to be bothered. She's like, uh uh. That's my god, baby Terry. I'm ugly. Girl, you're not no ugly. Yes, I do. I'm sweaty. No, you don't look ugly. <laughs> Put back on my uh, YouTube. Good, y'all here. Lee, she said she's cooking something. Lee supposed to be cooking, girl. I'm not even going to complain. I'm just going to eat it. He supposed to be cooking some rotin, girl. Yeah, he, he cooking rotin. Mm. <laughs> girl, okay. It's easy to us. But I'm still going to eat it. I ain't going to complain. But good thing. Oh, not you. Um, let me watch this. I like watching her channels. Y'all know that girl Leah Gordon Gordon on YouTube? Yeah, that's why I watch her. I like watch her videos. All right, do me a favor. Is it really to Throw these in that basket, girl. It's so much stuff to do. You be thinking you organize until your baby get here, and then it be you, this is stuff all over that closet. I gotta get that closet organized. We are gonna do that today, and then I wanted to put her in this um, bassinet to sleep in because she ain't been at she ain't she slept in the first night home. Mm -hmm. But then she started back doing that cluster feeding stuff, and I can't, I, I, I can't put her down, cause I don't know if all babies do this, but my baby is doing what my doctor said is um, called a, cl a cluster feeding, where she'll sleep all day like she does now, and I still can wake her up and make her eat, but then at nighttime she'd be up for like an hour or two, and that whole hour she's like literally feeding it. It's so it's so brutal on me as a new mother because I don't get no sleep. But they got a Ronnie. Ooh. Stand up a little bit. He let me get a little bit of sleep. But yeah, they here holding. Holding the baby. <laughs> Just like Lee. Be doing all the extra stuff with the picture. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, let me skip this, girl. These commercials be too damn long. Four minutes. Ooh, should be four. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Leah Gordon. Y'all watch her. I love her channel. It's a, it's a everything channel. Um, I think her channel. I think our channel is appropriate for you to watch. She don't really. Yeah, she was cool in two episodes we watched. Yeah, she she a, a teacher or something. She worked for Atlanta yeah, School what? District. I it's I think she. I think she a good role model too. For little girls, I like her. Oh, Morgan, so cute. Was that? See, Carl. Oh, uh, some girl got girl got cookies. You order some? Oh, take a picture, girl. You gotta be still. I only order some because she just buying some trash bags from Tim. And she didn't buy nothing. She ain't giving me the money. Maybe that's what she called me for. Call me later. I wanna go. Okay. I wonder if Michelle still got some uh, girl scout pictures. Your eyes are closed. Up. Look clear. So, um, order me some more because I had two boxes of lemonade cookies in the hospital. Smashed them. All right. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Oh, yeah, this, let me, I'm going to talk to my best friend, but I'll be back. Oh. I act like it was damn sledding football. I was hitting that one up as high up as I I know um, the doctor that delivered me, I heard him say, that my next contraction, she just gonna come out. Cause he was pretty probably waiting for her to come out. He probably didn't want me to tear. Yeah. yeah. That's probably why they wasn't trying to force it. Cause I, I ended up tearing. Sorry. I ended up tearing. Huh. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh. Did you say I ended up tearing? No, tearing. 
Oh, yeah, like Terry. Terry but that's. So yeah, he. That's why I think he was taking his time. I remember he said, "With well, these next couple of contractions, she's gonna slide right on out." But then the lady came and got her out, and I tore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. They did a good job. No, they did. They, yeah, they did. did me. Yeah, I, I I was comfortable. Cause I think I think talking about my labor and delivery, yeah. it was that she was in there. Like they had two different shifts on you. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lee was in there. Well, who was the other lady that came in there? The African lady. I don't know what she was. She was short, black. Mm hmm. Her pediatrician. Oh okay. I picked her. Yeah, I went on here and picked the pediatrician that was in the delivery room with uh Leah. So basically, the I think all hospital does this. I don't know. I've never been pregnant, but when I deliver, I had. The NICU was in there. The NICU was in there because um, I don't know if that's what they do for all pregnancies. I don't remember no NICU people coming up for Terry or for Mimi. That's what we had on Truman. Oh. See. See, I had the NICU nurses, but she had a lot of macoom. Macoom. The boo boo that, that when they boo boo in you. And I think they were trying to check and make sure they, she didn't have none in her lungs. So normally they let the daddy cut the cord, but. They didn't let Lee cut her cord. That's fine. Lee Lee was scared, but then he didn't want to do it at first. But then when he kind of like talked to himself and, and was like, he going to do it, he going to do it. He was kind of disappointed that he didn't get to cut the cord because at that point he had started to look forward to it. So, but that's okay. So, um, the, la the lady from NICU came up in there. We had NICU, NICU nurses. I had like labor delivery nurses in there. Doctors. Mm -hmm. It was all kind of people in that room. My doctor came in late, so he didn't get to deliver the baby. So another doctor, I think his colleague, but his colleague did real good. He's real calm in. He didn't seem like he was judging me or nothing like that, huh? He was good. Yeah. And so he told me I was doing practice. I'm going to save this for my labor and delivery story. But so the pre so what they do is they have a pediatrician in there with you, a, a baby doctor in there with you when you deliver. And I deliver, and that doctor is who I went ahead and took Leah to. And that's going to be her doctor. Because I figured, like, you was there. Because that's the one who took her finger like this. That's the one who took her finger like this to help get her out. Yeah, so she helped deliver Leah. And she the one. So after you, you go in your room, a pediatrician comes to visit the baby every day and take her stats and all that. And so just because she knew what was going on with Leah, I went on ahead and just went to her. Instead of having to start a whole new relationship with another doctor. So I just went to Dr. Ross, which she is right, like literally right next door to your apartment complex. Where is? I don't want them to know her doctor's thing. Hold on, girl. Because I'm really faking it. Watch out, Morgan. Come over here, Morgan. Come here. Hey. Get it. Uh. <laughs> you not do it. You not do it, Morgan. Uh. Oh. You, your daddy sucks. Oh, she surprised me at her uh, school. I saw right, you know I was over here like, <laughs> go Morgan, uh, uh, go dance Morgan. No, okay, looking like Wally Jr. Oh, that made you happy, didn't it? <laughs> hey, hey. Look at that. Look at Hey. It was good. I think Marissa want to get her hair cut. Oh, she fussy, fussy, cause she um, she um, on that um, feeding that I was telling you guys about. This is my little sister Shamia. She is deaf as well. Well, not as well, but she's deaf. Oh, she's deaf. She's good with babies. Oh, and so yeah, she's deaf and she um, she doesn't speak either. She does sign language. You gonna teach my baby sign language? Oh, that's gonna be dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait till she get bigger. 
She just asked me if she had blue eyes. It looked like it, don't it? Mm, her eyes are kind of bluish gray. Look it, at her other. Like she came to see like her. Like oh, she came to bring us some food. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Um, I'm sorry if it's not like a lot of stuff. I didn't go anywhere today. I was just at home, which is the main reason why I don't um vlogging um because I feel like I don't have anything to talk about. But I'm probably going to go ahead and edit this um, and put this up. I just wanted to close the vlog out um, better. Oh, can y'all see my hairy underarms? I probably got to edit that. <laughs> but, um, y'all, real quickly, so I, I told y'all I tore. Did I tell y'all that? I have a second degree tear. And so... The swelling down there has gone down tremendously, but the inst the, the incision side, the side where I have the stitches, that is still swollen. That's still very tender. Like, oh my god! And I have been wearing um the little mesh panties that the hospital give you. They sent me home with quite a few, and so I have been wearing those and with a pad. And the pain has been getting better and better to where I haven't had to take a pain pill like that often. Like I think like yesterday and today I kind of was able to slow down with the pain pills um, so today I you know took my shower you know like normal and I don't have any more of those panties left so I had to put on my regular little granny panties that I have I guess these mugs are too tight or something because I got a pad on and next thing you know that decision part like I told you guys it has pretty much stopped hurting so bad but that decision part just started throbbing so bad, hurting so bad. I had to take a pain pill, and I had to put on the ice pack down there. You guys, it hurts so bad, but this ice pack pretty much cooled it down. Those tucks ain't enough, boy. Those tucks cool you down for that moment, but I need something that just stay cold for out for at least an hour, like this uh, ice pack does. So I just wanted to share that little TMI with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog now, and I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll vlog. I'm gonna try to do like upload a video on this channel. Uh, I'm gonna try to make my uploads Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So that's four days a week uploading videos, and then try to chill out. Up uploading on Fridays and Saturdays. Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll, I'll have an exact upload thing. But yeah, I'm turning this channel into a vlog channel. So, oh, yeah, I hear her snoring. What the hell is this on my chin? What the hell is this? Oh, anyways, bye, you guys. See you later.